Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Shishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Hard truth about women's looks and men marrying them. How to marry a rich man. This one's good. Make sure you stay tuned. Let's get it. Hard Hello, truth about good. women's looks and men marrying them. A pretty, a young and pretty lady posted this on a popular forum. What should I do to marry a rich guy? I'm going to be honest of what I'm going to say here. This was in, it was in the paper. I'm 25 this year. I'm very pretty, have style and good taste. I wish to marry a guy with $500,000 annual salary or above. Mm. You might say that I'm greedy, but an annual salary of $1 million is considered only middle class in New York. My requirement is not high. Is there anyone in this forum who has income of $500,000 annual? <laughs> Are you all married? I wanted to ask, what should I do to marry a rich person like you? Among those I've dated, the richest is $250,000 annual. And it seems that this is my upper limit. It wasn't enough for, by the way, you're looking at like two, one percent um, of the population right there as far as earning. If anyone is going to move into a high cost residential area on the west of New York City Garden, 250,000 annual income is simply not enough. I'm here humbly to ask a few questions. Where do, where do most rich bachelors hang out? Please list down the names and addresses of bars, restaurants, and gyms. What age group should I target? What are most wives of the rich? Why are most wives of the rich only average looking? I have met a few women who don't have good, who don't have looks and are not interested, interesting, but they are able to marry rich guys. How do you decide who can be your wife and who can only be your girlfriend. My target is to get married. Sign Miss Pretty. <laughs> this, is, this was actually in a paper in New York, and the CEO of J.P. Morgan responded, All Dear right. Miss Pretty, I have read your post with great interest. Guess there are lots of guy, girls out there who have similar questions like yours. Please allow me to analyze your situation as a professional investor. Let's see if he's going to tell the truth, man, because I'm curious. If this was actually in the paper, let's see if he's going to... Because the truth is what would be considered um, black coffee, too real, offensive to most women if they were to tell the truth about what she's looking for and what she has to offer. Let's listen. My annual income is more than $500,000, which meets your requirements. So I hope everyone believes that I'm not wasting time here. Okay. From the standpoint of a business person, it is a bad decision to marry you. <laughs> the answer is very simple, so let me explain. Put the details aside, what you're trying to do is an exchange of beauty and money. Right. Person A provides beauty, person B pays for it, fair and square. However, there is a deadly problem here, your beauty will fade. Okay. But my money will not be gone without a good reason. Okay. The fact is, my income might increase from year to year, but you can't be prettier year after year. Such a simple concept. Let's keep listening. Hence, from my viewpoint of, eco of economics, I am an appreciating item, and you are a depreciating asset. Mm. And it's not just normal depreciation, but exponential de depreciation. If that, is, if that is your only asset, your value will be much worse 10 years later. This is the part where 60 year old women would try to convince you that they look not as good, but better than they did back when they were 25. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! We've seen this. Let's get back into it. By the terms we use in Wall Street, every trading has a position. Dating with you is also a trading position. If the trade value drops, we will sell it. 
and it is not a good idea to keep it for long term. <laughs> Same goes with the marriage you wanted. It might be cruel to say this, but in order to make a wiser decision, any asset with greater depreciation, with greater depreciation value will be sold or leased. Anyone with over $500,000 annual income is not a fool. We would only date you, but not marry you. <sighs> Come on. He basically said, now will he bust the cheeks? Yes, he will. He would only date her. He would not marry her. Why? Because if all she brings are her looks, then why invest long term? That's, that's the main point here in this video. I would advise that you forget looking for any clues to marry a rich guy. And by the way, you could make yourself to become a rich person with five. Uh, you, you could make yourself to become a rich person with $500,000 annual income. This has a better chance than finding a rich fool. Sign JP Morgan CEO. <laughs> There you go. There you go. There you go. As always, man, of course, of course, the internet had a lot to say about this video. First comment here from a woman says, this is true. Exclamation mark. All the successful wealthy men I know didn't marry for beauty. They look for character and quality. Where is this um, lie that's fed to women that men who are successful marry strictly for beauty? Another person responded back to that woman and said, the question is, what does she bring to the partnership? And beauty alone will not cut it. Next comment here says, she fails to realize the so-called average looking woman caught the big fish when it was still small. Meaning she helped that man build some women. Very few women are willing to go through that process with a man. Most women, no, right? No, goes on to say a lot of times they helped him get there. Now, the comment here says, beauty is fleeting and charm is deceitful, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Amen. Another comment here says, women who can get that man don't have to ask where that man is at. Mm. He finds them. Now, the person here says, yes, married a school teacher that everyone loved, taking her to a play in a Porsche and leaving for Maui to celebrate our 20th anniversary. Next comment says, beauty doesn't attract wise and rich men. Well, beauty definitely attracts all men, but rich men aren't gonna lock you down just because you're beautiful. You have to bring more to the table. This next commenter wants to know, why doesn't she go make her own salary of $500,000 or more? Another person says, I hear the message. I'm annoyed at the reading skills. <laughs> Shots fired and somebody else responded back to that woman and said, understand the message, not the messenger. Man, I mess up all the time over here reading. Now the comment says, very insightful info. The scriptures say beauty is vain. And so make yourself valuable aside from looks. Yes, yes. Uh, this, this is the best comment, I think, out of all the comments. It says, sprinkle, sprinkle with uh, stars. And of course, they're making fun of this chick on TikTok. If you guys are on TikTok, you've seen this chick who's basically teaching women um how to like manipulate men financially take what you can from it and this is like her slogan another woman responded back to that with the laughing emojis as always guys i'm curious what do you think about this video comment down below i appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of the coffee pot tonight peace